What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're gonna be hitting void shards we've got 118 of these bad boys to get through it's 2x and there's a 10 percent chance to get fatalist blade master and um, he is one of the coolest looking champions in the game but he sucks balls um it's a real shame like he's part of this big promo going on with monster hunters and you know he has an insane kit but his multipliers just make him absolutely useless. Um, just looking at his skills, like he's on par. His kit is very similar to Gorgrid. And, you know, he could probably steal the number one spot from Taris if he just didn't suck so much. But, um, yeah, it's a real shame. Like, he's built for PvP and he just can't do anything. I don't understand it. I don't know why you would do this. But I'm hoping he gets a massive buff because it completely, you know, he definitely deserves it. And it just makes no sense at all. Uh, and I definitely don't want to pull him because they probably won't buff him. So I just want to have a look. My account's coming up to like four years old now. And I just want to see how many um, Void Legendaries we've pulled in four years. So we pulled one. So Leo... Constantine, that's two. Hegemon, that's three. Four for a dupe Arbiter. Chagor, five. To Hanarak, six. A dupe. Uh, Constantine, that's seven. Ethos, that's eight. Blind Seer, that's nine. Dupe Physics, ten. And Bellinor, that's eleven. And I think that's all my avoid legendaries. And yeah, it is just ridiculous. Like I have pulled three dupe legendaries, Constantine, Arb, and Physics. I mean, that is ridiculous considering how many legendaries are in the game. It's just crazy. But anyway, let's go for it, guys. I hope you all have some insane luck. Get some big boy pulls. Get some of those void legendaries that could really change your account. Like I'm looking for like a C fee. Um Yumiko, Warlord, those would be huge pulls for me. Uh, Sky Touch Shaman, great champion. Uh, you need to put an immunity set on her, but she can be used for quite a few bits of content. She can do some interesting stuff with block debuffs and a revive on death. Uh, Faceless, pretty decent champion. Um, I actually used him to clear uh, faction walls for Night Rev, so he's pretty cool. Uh, Painkeeper, absolute beast now, used in um that like triple comp for iron twins it's gold what did i just say what did i say we've just pulled a dupe yakal what the hell four i have pulled four dupes and uh three of them are champions that you can just get for free it's just a joke oh god wow just wow all right, dupe again. Venus, nice. She is an awesome champion. So I actually have Cupidus. They are an insane couple. All right, that's not so bad, guys. I was I was a bit salty there, but actually Venus, she is an insane pool. Like you put them both in stone skin and then you just put in two other champs, whoever you want, and you have a sick defense. Um, that could be used to get into plat. That could be used for tag arena. That is an insane combo. <laughs> All right, Plarium, you've redeemed yourself. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. All right. Well, what's that? 40 shards and two Legos already? Nice. Let's let's keep the momentum going. Who else have we got that's pretty tasty here? Uh, I quite like uh, Doom Screech. If you've got like a defense nuker, you can use him a little bit like Seeker and he'll buff your defense. So your defense champion will do more damage, but also boost that turn meter as well. Fellhound, <laughs> the number one campaign farmer. I still use mine to this day. I think they clear 12-3 um, in something like six seconds. Crazy, just crazy. Okay, Ursula the Mourner, very solid champion. Does an AoE revive. Um, the only thing that's annoying though is that she can sort of just do it when she wants. She doesn't time it when the allies are dead. 
So it's a little bit annoying, but she can use for like Hydra and stuff and pretty much all content, you know, revivers, AoE revivers are always going to be valuable. Eurogrim, absolute beast. Um, used to be really good for solo content and he was probably like on the same level as Bad L, but they nerfed him a little bit, took away one of his poisons, so he's not as good. But he does, um, he does cleanse, he heals, and he throws out a lot of poison. So he's still pretty, pretty decent. All right, let's make some space, and I'll be back in a sec. Space has been made. We're down to 38. Let's go, boys. Come on. I need, I don't know. I feel greedy, but I need something big for the account. I mean, Venus, I still can't get over it. That is a still a huge pull. Um, such a good champion. And yeah, the way you want to build that dupe combo as well is like build them like, well, build Cupidus really, really slow. And he's just going to be spamming his A1 and he will just drop the enemy team. Scathix is pretty good as well. Um, I think I've not used him for a long time, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, cleanses, block debuffs. Can steal as well. Nice. So like sort of like a baby strip as well. Pretty, pretty good champion. I've actually lost him in arena because I didn't know. Oh, gold again? No. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Togron the Cajoined. Oh, my God. So this is definitely something we didn't want. Um, I looked at his kit and it just looked trash like absolutely awful uh all speed 20 percent aura who cares okay so passive increases the champions of max hp by 10 percent every time they use an active skill stacks up to 50 percent resets at each round also has sorry also increases each ally's max h by five percent every time they use an active skill stacks up to 50 percent it's kind of interesting passive um, increases the term of your allies by 20% and places increase accuracy buff for two turns, then removes all debuffs from allies. All right, so he's a cleanser. There's quite a lot going on here, but I don't know. It's more of a PvE thing for me. Okay, A2. Heals all allies by 20% of max championship, sorry, of this champion's max HP. Places 30% increased speed buff for, on all allies for two turns. Also places a uh, heal for two turns as well. On all allies whose current HP is below 50%. Okay, so that's a bit weird. Um, yeah, I just don't get it. That That's a weird one. I'd just rather... I think you should just throw on the continuous heals. Like, I hate this. If not, does this not business. It's just too much. A1. Attacks one enemy has a 20% chance applying buff spread effect taking one random buff from each ally and placing it on all allies uh okay um i don't know i don't know to me he just looks like trash um like face value i can't really see anyone using him anywhere let's just sort of see what the ratings are pretty good in hydra i don't know i just don't see it like that's not really going to be useful in hydra i you know i don't need increased attack oh sorry increased accuracy the cleanse is nice and the term of your boost is quite nice but again like it's not i don't know there's just so many better options in my opinion uh faction wars cleared it don't need him for clan boss yeah it just looks awful Oh, God. All right. Eight more. Can, can we yeet something good? You never know. But yeah, that's some pretty insane pull rates today. Like, can't complain about that. Three Void Legendaries out of 118 Voids is pretty sick. But then when you get your car as a dupe, you know, you lose a bit of your luster. Um, and also, oh, the conjoined guy. Oh, just, I just hate you when player in release, like Void Legendaries are so hard to get and they just release 
just you know stagnate the champion pool i just hate it i hate it so much and last void okay and reliquary tender who actually is also an awesome rare like usable in loads of content she cleanses she throws out continuous heal um yeah actually really solid and she could be used for like secret rooms and stuff and in curse it as well great great champion hype her up but yeah so i mean some terrible pulls some amazing pulls i mean venus i'm so so bad so let's let's end on a positive note at least we've got her and have i got any awakenings not for those champions all right oh well guys that's pretty much the end of the video i hope you have way way better luck than me please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you all in the video soon peace